Hello everyone, good morning. I'm Avishka Dharani, your tech host. And the bulletin for today begins with SpaceX successfully launches Starship and catches booster in historic feat. Xiaomi to bring generative AI features in affordable phones. Gurugram police uses AI to catch vehicles with fake plates. Chinese camera maker Hike Vision downsizing amid US sanctions. WhatsApp introduces low light mode for video calls. Iran faces major cyber attack amid running tensions. AI pioneer Yan Li Kan dismisses AI fear as overblown. Now in the previous quiz, we asked you what does USB stand for? The answer is universal serial bus. It's time for our daily tech quiz. Here's today's question. Who invented compact disc? Confident you've got the answer? We would like to hear it from you. Drop your guess in the comments below. But before that, I would also like to acknowledge at the rate MRAO1302 for answering the question correctly. Now if you know the answer, we would like to hear it from you in the comments. Stay tuned. The first news, we have SpaceX which has achieved a major milestone by launching its massive Starship rocket and successfully catching the returning booster with mechanical arms at the launch pad. 400-foot Starship lifted off from Texas at surprise and unlike previous events, the booster was brought back safely. Using metal arms nicknamed chopsticks, the launch tower caught the 232-foot booster after its 7 minutes flight. After making a significant breakthrough for the company, Elon Musk, SpaceX CEO, shared the exciting moment announcing the successful catch. The Starship's top section continued its journey aiming for a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. SpaceX's goal is to make rockets reusable with plans to use Starship for the further Moon and Mars mission. Xiaomi, which plans to bring generative AI features to its smartphone in India by the end of this fiscal year. Currently reserved for high-end devices, these features could be available in Xiaomi phones priced at around Rs 40,000. The rollout follows the Xiaomi 14T launch in Europe, which includes Google's AI tools. This move will help Xiaomi compete with brands like Apple and Samsung. Though it is unclear exactly when these features will arrive, experts predict a launch by the Mobile World Conference in 2024. By offering AI at lower prices, Xiaomi could democratize access to advanced AI tools like photo editing and AI searches. Now we have Gurugram Police which has teamed up with Stacu Technologies to introduce an AI-powered system that scans vehicle number plates using existing CCTV cameras. The system checks the plates against RTO data and flags fake or stolen vehicles in real time. Within two days of deployment and just two checkpoints, the technology identified 1,500 suspicious vehicles. The system is a part of a broader effort to enhance security in the city. It is also providing useful, helping police catch several offenders quickly. This AI-powered solution is expected to significantly improve public safety and reduce vehicle-related crimes. Now, now we have Hike Vision, a leading Chinese surveillance camera maker which is reportedly cutting jobs in its research and development division. Though the company denies massive layoffs, this downsizing comes amid US sanctions which have restricted Hike Vision's access to the US market due to alleged human rights abuse in China. The company is optimizing its R&D efforts to respond to these challenges. High vision. They have been under pressure since 2019 when the US barred it from buying American components. The company also faces economic challenges at its home as China's economy slowed down, adding it to its trouble. Now we have WhatsApp which has rolled out a new low light mode for video calls, improving video quality in dim setting. Available for both iOS and Android, this feature boosts brightness during video call, making your face clearer even in low light. You can easily activate it by tapping the bulb icon on the video call. However, it needs to be turned on for each call as it cannot be kept on permanently. While not yet available on the Windows app, it is a helpful update for clearer video chats with friends and family in less than ideal lighting conditions. Now we have Iran, which is dealing with a wave of cyber attacks targeting its government and critical infrastructure, including nuclear facilities. The attacks, which began after tensions with Israel, escalated. They have disrupted government operations and stolen sensitive information. Nearly all branches of Iran's government, as well as key sectors like transportation and fuel distribution, have been hit. In response, Iran has taken precautions like banning certain electronic devices on flights. The attacks add to the pressure on Iran as conflicts in the region escalate. The U.S. is also sending defense systems to Israel, further complicating the situation. Now, we have Yan Likan, 
a leading AI researcher and Meta's chief AI scientist who believes fears about AI's threat to humanity are exaggerated. In a recent interview, Lee Ken argued the current AI systems aren't even as smart as pets, let alone humans. He disagreed with fellow AI experts like Jeffrey Hinton who worry about AI's future risk. Lee Ken thinks discussion about AI exceeding human intelligence are premature, saying we aren't even close to building AI systems smarter than a house cat. He advocates for a more realistic view of AI's capability and dismisses alarmist predictions are baseless. This was it for today's news. Stay tuned to IT Voice for more such tech updates.